there's that man again. Well, 2024, January the 2nd, and that's my birthday, everybody. Yep, today is my birthday. I have turned 51 years old. So what do I want to do on my birthday? Talk about fragrances. What else? going on everybody and welcome back to the teddy files i am your resident sommelier mr dm's teddy and that's right you heard it right today is my birthday and what better way to celebrate my birthday than to talk about the top three fragrances that i'm considering today to wear and go out for my birthday and um you know it, it was it was actually a pretty hard decision because i have so many that i can choose from so um it, it took me quite a while. I, I, I went through some of the older ones, which I absolutely love. And uh, some of the newer ones that just came in, um, I actually have two that I just got, that I just got. As a matter of fact, one just came a couple of minutes ago. So, uh, and I'm actually testing that out right now. So I will be talking about that one as well. But um, once again, we're gonna talk about three that I'm considering wearing for my birthday. So. Uh, back in a second so the first fragrance that i want to talk about is woody warm and somewhat nutty and spicy and that would be and i might butcher the hell out of this name but i'm going to try it anyway because that's what we do over here we take shots and we take chances and the name of it is so yeah so got the uh logo at the top here and um this fragrance right here is, it, it, it kind of reminded me when I first sprayed it, it, it had a, it smelled like it had a heavy amount of vetiver and it wasn't what I was expecting. And it, 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 it caught me off guard in the opening blast. I was just like, wait a minute, what the hell is this? But then once you really kind of just let it settle in, it only, it only takes a few seconds, just a few seconds. And then as you, get a little deeper into this hobby you start to get gather a little bit more patience and understanding that some fragrances may start off a little bit harsh but sometimes that dry down is always worth it because it's it ends ends in a sweet dry down for you and that's exactly what this one did this one right here man like i said the opening blast is is is, is strong because of the haitian vetiver and the ginger but man, when it dries down into that hazelnut and that tonka bean, it is magical. I mean, and especially on skin, it almost reminds you. Um, it almost reminds you of uh kind of think of the fragrance that um it reminds me of. Prada Luna Rosa Black. That's what it reminds me of. Not exactly though, it has that, that powdery airiness of Prada Luna Rosa Black. Uh, it's a completely and totally different scent, but it's, it, it, it kind of has that same feel. It has that same, um, almost that same just body to it. So uh, the top notes to this one are ginger gra and grapefruit. Middle notes are hazelnut, Haitian vetiver, and base notes of, of tonka bean and tobacco to give you this very, very sexy, grown up and just ready for the evening fragrance this fragrance to me is a phenomenal fragrance um like i said when i first sprayed it i don't know what it was maybe it was just because you know it was the initial blast I'm, and and of course you know sometimes you have to let things settle just a bit but when it got onto my skin and it just and, and when i talk about when you talk about projection it projected pretty damn good it's not a heavy projector but it projected pretty good um, it actually, uh, the sillage is amazing. Uh, the longevity gave me, gave me about eight hours. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to do for anyone else, but I know for me, it gave me about at least seven to eight hours, which is good enough for me. Uh, it's not the most expensive fragrance. It's maybe about a hundred bucks is what I paid for this one. So, um, of course, you know, 
I'll link it in the description box in case you are interested yourself to in getting this. This fragrance is to me, it's a phenomenal fragrance and it is perfect for something to consider on wearing for my birthday. But at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know uh, which one I'm going to pick. But the first one is Amoise Moi Comme Je Suisse by Caron. I think I said that right. Before we go any further, yes, the producer is here. And we've come to a bit of an understanding. And uh, trust me, it's not going to be what it was last time. Then again, we don't know. But, you know, for now, I think they're being good because it's my birthday. And so today, I'm trying to make a choice between which one I want. And the next fragrance up that I am thinking about wearing for my birthday will be All Saints Leather Sky. So this fragrance, woody, leathery, ambery, warm and spicy. I mean, this fragrance right here is, picture a, a, a warm and this airy violet and rich leather. And not violet to, the, violet to the point of where it's petroleum, but has that beautiful powdery type of violet, almost violet and iris at the same time. Although I'm not sure if either one of those are in this fragrance, but um, the fragrance itself is it's warm, it's leathery, but it's not animalically leathery. It's 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 pretty much a refined leather. I mean, you got your notes. I mean, I think they only have three notes on this one. You got leather, sandalwood, and all of that. And for me, the simplistic breakdown is perfect for this fragrance because it's not over the top. It's not in your face, but it smells of elegance and opulence, if that makes any sense at all. It is a perfect date night fragrance. Pretty good for the office as well. I'm pretty sure I could wear this in the office. Um, so far, I have not worn it in the office. I wore it, uh, I wore it outside to an event that I just went to recently, and um, people were pleasantly, uh, they, they were pleased with it. Um, and I was pre pleasantly surprised by the longevity because um, the longevity was really um, absolutely amazing to me because I didn't expect it to last as long as it did. It lasted, like I said, about about eight hours, eight or, eight, eight or so hours. So um, that's good for me. Um, pretty much like the last fragrance. So yeah, um, this is another one that is in the running for something for me to wear for my birthday. And uh, I believe that this is a good one. Like I said, I've already worn it. I already understand what it can do, how long it can last. And the sea arch is amazing. So once again, I'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to experience this one for yourself. It ranges around about $50, $55. So not overly expensive. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth the purchase if you like leather fragrances. And once again, it's not a punch in the face leather. It's more of a refined, just more of a refined and um, um, almost opulent leather. And that would be Leather Skies by Austin. So the very last fragrance that I want to consider is the new guy. Yes, I just got him before I went on air with you guys. And um, it is the new fragrance by Japarlates. So, well, not new. This fragrance isn't new, it's new to me. But um, I've been talking about Japarlates as a uh, fragrance house for at least about a year now. So um, I've been impressed with a lot of fragrances that I've got from these guys. And so far from what I've smelled with this one, it hasn't changed. And that is John B's Elegant. And this is quality craftsmanship with this fragrance. I mean, this is a metal plate right here on the top. The top itself has Elegance on it as well. And it is a metal top. You got your, uh, your logo right on the top of the sprayer. But we know, I know. Um, what does it smell like? So this fragrance here, very elegant. The name fits this one. The, the name fits this one perfectly. This is a elegant suit and tie, night on the town fragrance that you could pretty much wear for any kind of occasion where you're going to be going out somewhere. This is more of a, a formal fragrance to say. Now, you can wear your fragrances whenever you want, like I've always said. 
But for me, this is something that I would actually want to dress up for and wear outside. You have your top notes of mandarin and sage, your heart notes of iris and leather, and your base notes of conca bean and vanilla. All to come together to give you this really just, just masculine and very classy fragrance. And like I said, the name fits this fragrance. It is very elegant. It is an elegant fragrance. It is perfect for going out, perfect for spending time out with your significant other. Um, it's inoffensive. I'm not sure what the longevity is because like I said, I just got it right before I went on air to talk to you guys about it. But I'm very excited to wear it. But is it going to make it for the night? I'm not sure which one of these three I'm going to wear, but it's going to be out of one of these three. So stay tuned and I will be letting you know which one I'm going to be wearing. But for you guys, if you want to pick this one up, it's 40 bucks. So it's not very expensive. But the only place that I've seen it so far is on Amazon. So I will link the Amazon link in the description box so you guys can get your hands on it for yourself so you can test it out for yourself to see if something that you may like and to me so far just in the air i haven't put it on skin yet so far just spraying it in the air i absolutely like this fragrance man this fragrance is a it has a uh, has some really good bones to it so um i'm gonna probably be checking it out i might even wear it around the house if i don't wear it tonight just to kind of check it out just to see what it does on skin I already know what the other two do on skin, but I'm going to maybe check this out to see what it does on skin just around the house and we'll see. But I'll let you guys know right after this. But hey, you want to get your hands on it? Uh, might be a good idea to get your hands on John B. Elegant by Japarli. Well, everybody, we've come to the end of the video. So which one am I going to choose? Which one am I going to wear? Will it be new guy on the block? Mr. Elegant by John B. Will it be Leather Skies by All Saints? Or will it be the other Frenchman in the year? Moise Moe Comme Je Suis by Caron. And I think I'm going to go with the fancy guy. I think I'm going to go to, with uh, Fragrance by Caron. Um, more so because it, it, fits the, it fits the occasion a little bit better. For tonight going out um the lady's taking me out this grizz is, is is trying to paint the town with me you know so i am going to let her spoil me and i'm going to be very happy being spoiled so yeah i'm going to choose this one now she's already uh shown that she likes this one so hey this is the choice so once i get my shower and everything in and i will get my clothes together and i'll be spritzing this one and enjoying my birthday and uh, once again, everyone, I want to thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. You don't have to watch this video in particular, but I'm so glad that you did. And please make sure that you hit that like button because it helps the channel to grow. Please make sure you subscribe to it if you like this content. And please make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can be informed whenever we upload a video over here. Because everyone, you already know who I am. I'm Mr. Dearest Teddy. I'm your fragrance sommelier. And you know what we don't do. Over here, we do not do stink, so please, don't be a stink ass. It's my birthday, everybody. Have a good evening.